Awaken, my child, and embrace the glory that is your birthright. Know that I am Atlas, the eternal will of the Swarm. You are one of my platoon leaders who shall control the innumerable armies of Zerging players across the battlefield. I shall teach you all you need to know once I turn off this effect. Oh god, that is hard on my voice. So for the sake of this episode, we're going to assume that you are not leading or involved in the Zerg since this entire strategy revolves around you influencing it to your own ends. If you are in fact the Zerg, you need to reevaluate your commanding skills and figure out how to get a hold of your platoon. Take a good moment and reflect your position in the Hive Silent Akariki. Okay, cool. I knew I wasn't dealing with amateurs. Now, for those of you who never actually played StarCraft the first game, let me illustrate the Zerg pecking order and how it draws convenient parallels to the Zerg fits you see on the battlefields of Araxis. At the very top, we have the Overmind, whose role is very similar to the leader of your local faction's Zerg fit. He is the greatest source of sentience in his endless army of mindless killing machines, and he is the one who has the big plans for the future. Next comes the Cerebrants, or in our case, the platoon leaders of Zerging Platoons. They have their own individual will and a great deal of control over the Platoon Mind's army, but ultimately they have to answer to the Elder Brain that is the outfit leader, or they're going to figure out what's not so good for them. Lastly, the most direct line of control over the innumerable broods of Light Assaults and Hydralists are the Overlords, or, in this case, squad leaders residing in the many platoons of a Zerg fit leader. These guys have very little individual will, and are barely a step above being cannon fodder. Most of these squad leaders are just sorta there, and have no real power in the grand scheme of things. Heck, the right amount of manipulation and you can easily replace them with your own people. These guys only really exist to help corral the endless armies of planet mans. Now, how is this useful to all of us? Because, just like the Zerg, Zerg fits are after something. Certs. And, just like the innumerable armies of the Overmind, Zerg fit platoons can easily be baited away if you can fool them into thinking that you have what they want in a certain place. How do we do that? Well, we convince the Zerg fit that we have something very dear to them in a location that is beneficial to our plans. By using our movements to create big fights at choice locations for us, and also by rushing ahead before a major base cap to lure the Zerg after us, most of the time pubs in a Zerg fit won't even wait, and they'll just go right over there and the rest of the platoon will follow. Then the squad and platoon leads will unwittingly just give the order because they're seeing their little armies go there because they want their Sunder to be there first. Congratulations Commander, you just use your tactics like a psionic emitter. Once you get the Zerg fit in place, be sure to bail out so you can actually go and do something useful. Let the Zerg do the Zerg fitting for you. This is all cool and stuff, but how does this actually benefit us? Well, have you considered that manipulating Zerg fits is a great way to plug holes in your own grand strategy that you just don't have the manpower to cover on your own? Getting the Zerg fit platoons to go and do the fighting for you at places like Howling Pass or the Bastion frees up your platoon to go and do stuff that will actually turn the tide of battle. Or you could just make like the Sons of Core Hall and sick them on people you don't like. Your call. Let's review. Zerg fits are strikingly like their namesake StarCraft faction. Use feints and herding tricks to bend the Zerg fit to your will. They don't care as long as they get this precious certs that they so desire. Manipulating Zergs is an excellent way to free up your own forces to do useful things. Or planetary genocide. Go play the original StarCraft. The complete set is $15 and it will teach you many great things. That's all for today. Be sure to subscribe so you can learn new tactics tricks every two weeks or so, and for more references to classic PC games. Until next time, play. You must construct additional pylons.